Hello everyone. Today our topic of discussion is system unit. Uh, when system, the word system unit comes to our mind, we uh, instantly think of the uh, CPU unit uh, that is plugged with our monitor. But a system unit is actually uh, not that part, but it actually consists of so many little components that we are going to discuss to in today's lesson. A system unit is actually the part of a computer that houses the primary devices that perform the uh, most operations and produce results for all the complex calculations. Uh, it includes motherboard, CPU, RAM, and all the other components, as well as the case in which these devices are enclosed. This unit uh, performs the majority of the functions that a computer is required to do. And the term system unit is generally used to differentiate between the computer itself and the, uh, its peripheral devices. What are peripheral devices? Th th uh, those are the input and the output devices that that are connected to the computer. We'll discuss the input and the output devices in detail in, the, in this lesson um, after a little while. This is, uh, the system unit actually holds the system devices that perform the calculations, uh, which, which are requested by, let's say, our input devices, and uh, the results are required by our output devices. So whatever is happening in between the input and the output devices, all the processing is actually carried out by our system unit, which can, uh, and the, uh, these, uh, these uh, functions can range from a, 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 from a, a microprocessor to a capacitor to a system clock all these uh, small functions are divided among different components of system unit so every system device uh, has its own function uh, the system unit includes the electronic equipment that interacts simultaneously in order to perform those calculations every component of the system unit is working simultaneously with each each other uh, to get the required result and then transfer it to the output devices um, Moving forward, you can uh, see the uh, uh, slide number four. Uh, over here, it is displayed that we can see the monitor and our printer are an example of an output device. And the input devices are the keyboard and the mouse. And we can see uh, the CPU is our system unit. What is inside that, uh, it's not just the CPU. This whole part we in our uh, language call it a cpu but this actually is a system unit and it consists of so many components and cpu is actually a part is a, is a component of the same system unit moving forward next device uh, uh, next uh, uh, figure explains uh, what system unit is and how it is used. So we see that our input devices, let's say a keyboard, is actually mm, um, giving out a command. For example, I'm typing uh, 2 plus y in uh, in my uh, computer on a, uh, in my computer let's say i'm uh, i have opened a calculator and I'm, and i'm typing 2 plus y and i want the desired result so the input device that is helping me to do so is actually the keyboard so the keyboard um, i type it in and then the system unit which consists of lots of components uh, is processing the data and then giving me the resi desired result on an output device that is the monitor that is the screen on my uh, of my computer and you can see there's a, a small box uh, which indicates the storage devices storage devices is actually the uh, external and primary and secondary memory of the system unit. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it.